Hi, it's Stacy with As The Tea Brews. Um, so I wanted to talk quickly about um, a new tea that I recently tried. Um, it's called Bonfire from Adagio. And I got this in a tea swap from um, that I participated in on Instagram. And it's a lot of fun. You um, share your preferences and then um, you get a box valued at the same price that you send a box to somebody else. So this was one of the teas that she sent me and it intrigues me because um, bonfire, I mean you think fall, autumn, you know, bonfires and um, that sort of thing to keep warm when it starts getting cool. So um, it's kind of an interesting tea. Um, when I, oh, well, okay, so I'm going to read you the description from their website. It's not on the bag. I don't know if that's because this is a sample size or if they just don't print those on their bags. Um, this says, crisp autumn nights call for warmth and comfort and little can prov better provide them than an autumn bonfire. Behold our bonfire blend. Honeybush hazelnut and cocoa nibs relax and ground you, while a spice blend of aniseed, cinnamon, clove, and orange peel offer cozy comfort and zest. Apples and rose hips add soft sweetness, while lapsang and red peppercorn offer hints of smoke and the flickering spark of heat. A perfect tea for fireside enjoyment or downtime, downtime dreaming. So, this says it's an herbal tea, um, but one of the ingredients, uh, the fourth ingredient in the list is lapsang sochong, and I'm not sure how to say that, but it's a um, like a smoked black tea. And so there's black tea in it. Um, it does say on their website, this tea contains trace amounts of caffeine. So um, I'm not sure how much caffeine is actually in here. Um, I'd be afraid to drink it at night, even though it says it's an herbal tea because the, of the black tea. But um, So the ingredients are honeybush tea, apple pieces, aniseed, lapsang, sochong uh, tea, cocoa nibs, rose hips, cinnamon bark, red peppercorn, orange peels, cloves, cinnamon flavor, orange flavor, safflower, hazelnut flavor. Um, now I've read on the reviews that a lot of people say that the orange is um, quite overpowering in this. Now I don't I don't get that. Um, my first impression when I opened this was exactly a bonfire. It smelled exactly how you smell after coming home from camping or um, being outside by a fire. It just smells very smoky. Um, just very smoky. That's all I could smell at first. Uh, I've had a couple of cups of this now and um, I can, if I kind of let it air out a little bit, I can start to smell that orange. Um, I don't smell really any of those other spices that are in there. There's a lot of spices in here and um, I love all those spices. I love the cinnamon, I love the, um, the cloves and those different flavors that that are listed here, um, but I don't really smell them. So it's um, it's a it's a pretty tea. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it. So you can see the apple pieces, and you can see the peppercorns in there, and you see all the tea. There's a lot going on in this one. You can see whole cloves in there too, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so I brewed this for five minutes at 212 degrees. That's what the directions say. And um, brewed up, you still smell a lot of smoke. It's very, very, very smoky. You smell a little bit of that orange. And when you taste it, it tastes very smoky as well. It tastes smoky, and that's really what you get the first um, couple of drinks. And then it starts, the, some of the flavors start settling in and you can kind of taste that orange and I could taste the, um, the cloves. There's a hint of sweetness probably from the apples. Um, I don't really get much cinnamon or the cocoa. I, I bet that they're more of an underlying, kind of just helping with that general tone of this tea. It's very smoky. So if you're not a fan of smoky foods or teas, um, you might not like this. The first cup I had, I wasn't a big fan of, um, but it's growing on me a little bit. 
I'm wondering if because I got the sample size, I didn't get quite a good um, blend of some of those herbs and flavors that you would in a larger size. Uh, so maybe if I had a larger bag of this, then I might taste some of those other flavors more. Mostly I get the, um, I get three things. I get the smokiness, I get a hint of orange, and I get a hint of clove. And that's pretty much what I taste in here. Um, it's not bad. I, I'm not sure if I want to order a big bag of this or not. Um, this does feel like a seasonal thing to me. Uh, when, it, when the weather starts cooling down, something that I might reach for, uh, but not necessarily the rest of the year. So yeah, I think I think this is my third cup, and I think I I think this is growing on me. I do think I like it. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I've never uh, really tried a, had a, a smoky tea before. So um, have you guys tried this tea? Have you tried any other smoky teas? Do you enjoy them? Do you not like them? I think this is definitely one of those things that would go either way. You either love it or you don't love it with that smokiness. So that is my review of. Adagio's Bonfire. Let me know if you've tried it in the comments below or if you have any suggestions for teas that you'd like to see reviews on. Uh, have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.